guys, it's Amber, and it's so funny because this is going to be a haul video, but let me get my tangent out of the way really quickly. Every time I come on here and I say, hey you guys, hey you guys, hey you guys, I swear in my head as I'm recording and I'm saying that out loud, I have the, the guy from Goonies, if you guys have ever seen the movie Goonies, who says, hey you guys, I have his voice in my head as I'm saying that, and it's so hard for me not to laugh every time I say it. I'm in the South and I just cannot say y'all. And I have tons of friends who say y'all and I have no problems with y'all. For some reason, it just doesn't flow out of my mouth naturally. So you guys is always what I say. Anyway, onto the fun stuff. This is a collective haul video and honestly, I haven't done many hauls this month. It just, I, I have hauled a lot of products. I haven't haul, done a haul video is what I mean. So, uh, not that you guys are beating down my door to get one of them out of me, but I figure why not, I'll do one today. Because I have picked up several good items in the past few weeks that I'd like to share with you. And then I also got a fabulous surprise birthday box from my friend Angela here on YouTube. And her, her screen name, scream name, her screen name is Quixotic Girly. And honestly, I, I was just blown away by her and her generosity. And not only that, you guys, it is Angela's birthday this month. So it's not just my birthday, it's her birthday and she's sending me gifts. So that was that was just a sweet, sweet thing to do. Uh, so let me show you first what she has sent me. I have never tried any of the products that she sent me first off, so I'm, I love getting stuff like that because it's so neat to try different things. But she has been talking about this uh, refreshing face mist by Ole Hendrickson. And it's called the African Red Tea Face Mist. This is what the box looks like. And oh my gosh, it smells delicious. You got, oh my gosh. It just, it smells so good. It's very citrusy in a, in a way. And uh, just very, very, very um, soothing to the skin. And it says it's got energizing and clarifying antioxidant tonic in it. And it just feels so healthy, uh, or your skin just feels, excuse me, so healthy after you use this stuff. So this was really awesome. I'm, again, so grateful for her for sending me this. And then she sent me this John Masters Organics Bare Body Wash. And this is a scent-free body wash. There's no smell to it. And it's extremely, extremely lathering. I love this. I just tried it uh, this morning in the shower, and it's so ultra lathering but silky smooth so leaves my skin really really nice and soft and I've never tried anything from the John Masters organics line so this was super awesome as well to receive then as if those two things weren't enough she sent me this Prada uh, lot body lotion it's called amber which is my name of course this is the box and you can see it says amber on it and then this is what the lotion looks like in this in its container. And guys, oh my goodness. If you like the um, black amethyst smell from, is it Bath and Body Works or is it Victoria's Secret? I can't remember now. Black amethyst, you guys will know. And I'll probably put it up here just to clarify. But if you guys like that black amethyst smell, this smells similar to that, but so much yummier because Prada, of course, knows how to do it right. And it's just, it's very, very, very delicious. It's a great fall scent. Great fall scent. And she didn't know this. I hadn't even said anything to her, but I, I need fragrances so bad. I go through my perfume like you would not believe. I, I love fragrance. And I'm kind of, I've kind of been slacking in that area lately. So I'm really low on anything, um, fragrance related even body lotion because I just go through it so quickly and I have not tried this and I it is perfect for me the scent is perfect and so I'm looking forward to this oh my gosh I'm so looking forward to this using this more but uh, and then the last thing she sent me was this uh, fruit punch what are these called color sensational um, things by Maybelline and they look like jelly you can see through it, and it smells like fruit punch, you guys. And I'll swatch it, but it doesn't, it has no major color, and um, it's got a little berry, berry glow, and you 
can't see it even from the light. You can see my freckles, but you can't really see it. Uh, it, it gives a nice shine to your lips. I have it on right now over the top of Rimmel Airy Fairy. And it, it just, like I said, it smells just like Fruit Punch. And it gives a real nice moisturizing um, sheen without it looking uh, wet like a lip gloss does. So it gives you a nice sheen to your lipstick. And this stuff is so cool. I hadn't seen this until I watched her haul video as well. I'm not, I haven't even seen this in the store. So I'm excited. I'm always excited, but I'm excited about this stuff. And I'm so grateful to Angela for sending them to me because, like I said, it was just such a neat... A neat surprise and a neat uh, treat to get mail like that. So um, I'll get into what else I got myself. These things I'm about to show you are things that I've purchased this month. Uh, and some of them, I will be honest, I'm not a fan of already. So I got these Tom Ford inspired sunglasses from the, the kiosk in the mall. And I love them. Oh my gosh. I want the Tom Ford version now because these are just... So awesome, but uh, they kind of look like crisscross. I don't know. Like I just love these, and they were I think 15 bucks at the little. I don't know what those kiosks are called. You know, they, they're all the designer inspired sunglasses. I just I always kill my expensive sunglasses. I'll sit on them in the store, or sit on them in the car, or I will somehow my kids will get a hold of them and just you know, smash them to pieces. So I tend not to buy uh, high-end sunglasses anymore because it's just not practical with my lifestyle. But uh, these were awesome. When I put these on, I just I fell in love with these. So 15 bucks, 15 bucks. I also got, I know this is going to sound funny. I, I have Sigma brushes and I have some MAC brushes and I love my good brushes. But I have been seeing everybody talk about this e.l.f. Studio powder brush, that flat top powder brush. I haven't even opened it yet, uh, especially for highlighting, and I'm a huge highlighting fanatic. And this brush is so soft. Uh, I, obviously, I did. I have played with one before. I have a friend who has this brush. But for $3, you guys, I cannot believe how the quality that these, these uh, this brush is. And I don't need anything fancy schmancy for my, for my highlighting anyway, and I have several highlighting brushes, but for $3, I wanted to try it out and see if it was worth the hype. So I haven't, again, tried this out yet on my own face, but as soon as I do, I will let you know. But at first glance, this is, it's just a great brush. I mean, it's great bristles. I like it. I like it a lot. So... Yeah, three bucks, what can I say? I also got, if you guys have seen um, some of my earlier videos, I talk about my Holy Grail. Uh, gosh, I, I use it as a concealer, but it's really an eye corrector. It's by Bobbi Brown. It's called The Corrector, and I wear a light bisque. And I love it because it lightens up these dark circles under my eyes, and it's just the best I've ever found. So I wanted to try a few other concealer options that were from the drugstore just to see if anything even came close. I, I really wasn't expecting anything fabulous, but just to see if anything came close. And so far, I, I haven't found anything. I'm going to be honest. Um, I got this Maybelline Age Rewind. Gosh, what is this? Eraser. Dark Circle Eraser. So it's the Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser Treatment and Concealer. They say it treats dark circles as well as covers the dark circles that you currently have over time. I don't see anything great about this. It's got an old school spongy thing on the top of it and you have to twist this and then the product bunches up and it, it almost comes out. When it finally does come out, I had to twist it for an hour. When the product finally did come out, it's just too much product on the sponge. And then it leaves me looking and it, it just, it, it doesn't do well. Honestly, it was, it was like putting on foundation for me. Now this may work on some of you guys, so I, I'm not trying to knock the product, but for me this was not great. Uh, and I'm already, it's already sitting in my drawer. But anyway, this is again called the Instant Age Rewind. Not a fan. This color I'm using is light pale. Can you tell how pale I am right now? Uh, and uh, like I said, I don't like the old school sponge. It's like they almost digressed in their, 
I don't know, their application or applicator technology. I don't like it. And they do not want you to wash this brush either, which is disgusting to me. So, yeah. I don't know if you guys want to try this out, but this is what it looks like. Wasn't a fan of it at all. I've used it twice, and so it's completely full, and, you know, there, there you have it. I also picked up this Ulta Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. I just needed some, and... I'm not partial to any particular kind of eye makeup remover. And so when I picked this up, uh, I thought, oh, it'll be, it's like any eye makeup remover. It's not great. Honestly, I had to scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub. Even after using, even using this, I had to scrub on my eyes. I felt like I was pulling my eye skin and it just, it burned. It burned underneath my eyes. So I did not like this either. I'm not trying to turn this into a what I don't like video, but I just purchased several things this month that did not work for me. So I'm just letting you guys in on that. But yeah, that's what it looks like again. Ulta oil-free eye makeup remover, not a fan at all. <sighs> I have one more thing that I bought that I'm not a fan of, so I might as well just show it to you now and then I'll get into stuff that I actually liked or enjoyed. I was looking for kind of a baby doll pink blush and a very light pink, um, I don't know, just blush. And I am a blush fanatic and I love sleek blushes. And so, and really what I wear most are NARS blushes. I have several NARS blushes that I swear by, but I also like sleek as a, uh, another alternative because they're super pigment pigmented and I just like their color selection. So. I was in the aisle, uh, I guess at Walmart, looking for something in particular, and I just passed this, the hard candy section, and I saw this adorable pink uh, baked blush, and it's in the color 125 Living Doll. I just gashed this and broke the top off. <laughs> I just broke the top off. I was twisting it. Hello? Can you tell I don't own many hard candy blushes because I had no idea? Look at that. I just took a gash out of that because I broke off the top. <laughs> oh my god. I'm... Anyway. Okay. So getting back to the product, this is what it looks like minus the gash. Okay. Awesome looking color. Let's see if I, you can see. You see that on my finger? Looks incredibly pigmented. And the only reason it looks so pigmented is because I took the gash and, and got some of the color off of it that way. That's what it looks like on your finger. However, on your face, you see nothing. Nothing at all. It's annoying. So I was bummed. And it says that you can apply these wet and, uh, you know, for a more dramatic effect, but I didn't even try that. It shows up, I mean, it doesn't show up at all on my face. And again, it could be my skin pigmentation, but I have a lighter pink blush by Sleek, and it shows up very well. So while it is pretty in the container, you cannot see it at all. And I don't know if this is indicative of all of uh, the hard candy blushes, baked blushes. Uh, so if, if you guys are having the same experience or different experience with this blush, please let me know because I'd be interested to know if it just if it's just around the baked blushes that are having this pigmentation issue or if it's all of hard candy. Again, I don't expect anything fantastic out of a drugstore blush, but that doesn't even show up at all. It's almost a waste of product. So, um, okay. So next, I was in the CCO store, which is the cosmetic company outlet here in um, Atlanta, and I picked up two cream shadows by Estee Lauder, and I love these. These are the Double Wear Stay in Place Cream Shadows. This is what the box looks like, and I've already got a couple in different colors, but they're just like the MAC Paint Pots. These are extremely creamy. Honestly, some of these are creamier, in my opinion, than the MAC Paint Pots are, and I love them as eyeshadow bases, as I mentioned a thousand times. This color is in Silver Star, number 12, and it looks, right here it probably looks white. I've already used a ton of it. <laughs> it's not white though. It is it's it is light, but it's more like pots and pans. The NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Pots and Pans, it looks just like that. Just like it, except creamier. And it stays on your uh, face or eyelids all day. Now my 
My light is a little bright. It's right there. So it's a great metallic base or even eyeshadow color for the upcoming fall um, season because if you guys have been watching uh, the, the runway shows, metallic smoky eyes are very, very big this season and this fall. And this silver is awesome. It is such a great color. Again, it's called Silver Star. It is by Estee Lauder and it's a double wear stay in place shadow cream. I have worn this almost every day uh, on my eyes in some way, shape, or form. I've used it as a brow bone highlight. I've used it as my eyeshadow base. I've even used it as an eyeshadow on its own. So I love that one. And then I also got an, oh, oh, Amber. I also got another one. And this one is in the color pink amethyst. And this is a metallic mauve, I would say. A light mauve color. I haven't even tried it yet. Let's see if it swatches well. I did try it. I swatched it on the tester, of course, in the CCO, but I didn't, I haven't opened it yet. Let's see what we get here. So, that's not a conducive place for you guys to even see this. Try that again. So, right there is the color, and honestly, it's a little bright. The light's a little bright. It's a very nice uh, muted mauve color. And again, it's creamy, so I think it's going to go great as a base for my eyeshadows. I also got three of the, gosh, these are the Wet n Wild Color Icon 8 Pan Palettes. This one's in Petal Pusher. Might help if I actually shut my blinds a little bit so you can see it. Sorry, guys. Okay. This is in Petal Pusher. Still a problem. And this is the one with the pinks and the purples uh, in it, and it's number 736. Now, if you guys are looking for a great dupe for the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Palette, several colors in this look a lot like some of the colors in the Urban Decay Palette, or the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Palette. As in this uh, blue Had Me At Hello, this is the other palette I purchased. These are the blue colors. And the several of the colors in this and the blacks are very similar to the colors in the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Palette. These are $4.99 each, US dollars. So, like I said, if you can't afford or can't get your hands on the 15th Anniversary Urban Decay uh, Palette, a lot of the colors in both of these palettes are very, very similar to the awesome colors in the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Palette. And then I also got Comfort Zone, which is the neutral palette by Wet n Wild in the 8 pan palette. And it's got some great browns and uh, some brow bone highlights, some neutrals, a, a nice olive tone green. And even the browns in this, are two of them are very similar to those in the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary palette. So if you had all three of these palettes, or you already have all three of these palettes in your collection, you already have several of the colors that are in the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Palette, in my opinion. And like I said, $4.99 each. This is 15 bucks for all three of these. And you get eight shadows in each one. This is a great deal. Great deal. And I'm actually, I purchased this to do a, a review on the pigmentation of them in my, on my blog, glamtrotter.com, because I have worn these myself before, but these are brand new ones, and I did enjoy the pigmentation, but I want to compare them to pigmentation in that of the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Palette and other high-end uh, brands, just to see how well they match up that way. So stay tuned for that, but those three things I did purchase as well, and I'm going to swatch them all on that blog post in the next week, so that you guys can really see them if you're interested. And then lastly, I picked up two um, bottles of this big sexy hair spray. It's called the Spray and Play Harder Spray. And this is the Firm Volumizing Spray. And I hate their um, shampoo and conditioner. It dries my hair out and breaks it terribly. But I love their, uh, their hair sprays. Their hair sprays are fantastic. And Ulta had a deal like two weeks ago, where these were $9.99 instead of the $17 or $18.99 price. So I got two bottles of this, and this is a huge bottle. 
It's so tall. Look at this. And so, yeah, I'm loving this stuff. It smells though, it kind of smells like, I don't know, like elderly people. <laughs> I don't say that. I don't say that disrespectfully because I love elderly people. But it, it doesn't, it doesn't stink. I don't want to make it sound like it stinks, but it's not like a fruity, young smell that you'd think this would have. But this stuff is fabulous. Just do not like their, um, their shampoos and conditioners. But uh, that's what I hauled, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon.